Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the iPika EFM 30 amp ESC. Now this is uh, rated 3 to 6 S LiPo. It can run D-Shot 600 out of the box and it does have RGB so that's pretty darn cool. Now looking at the board actually it seems, you know, it's, it's $15 but I think I, I see that like you get more for $15 than, you know, something like this guy or something like this guy or even something like this guy. So I have not tested this yet, but we're gonna test it right now. But for $15, I mean, look at this. You have some protections, you have a 10 ohm capacitor, you have two 10 ohm capacitors, you have an RGB LED. I really don't care about this, but I mean, it's a big plus to add it. You have a nice, fat, beautiful heat sink. You have four fat capacitors. So, I mean, I have high hopes for this. That's what I could say right now. So th th this is very impressive. I'm, I'm, I'm really liking this. So um, um, th that's all I can say now. So let's just put it on the bench and actually give it a go. Um, so it is rocking a BB2 chip and it's a 30 amp ESC. So it's rated for 30 amps. And the burst is, is the burst is uh, 40 amps. So that's good. Uh, weight, it's saying it's 4.3 grams. I have not weighed it, but it should be around that area. Um, yeah, so let's take it on the bench. Let's get started. Alright guys, so how did these ESCs do? Now, they're rated 3 to 6 s and it's 30 amp, it's D-Shot 600 with the RGB. RGB is pretty awesome. Now, this one actually filtered out the higher frequencies pretty good. Um, not as good as I hoped, but it, it did very well, it did very good. Uh, I compared it with the Racer Star Tattoo because that's like in the same price category. Uh, however, this has, let's just say, this is 3 to, an S, 3 to 6 s and it has RGB. And the other one's just BL Heli 32 to, I think, a 5S. So they're both around $15. Uh, however, in voltage spike, this one outdid the Racer Star by 1.4 volts. So this one was 22.6 volts, and the Racer Star was 24 volts. Voltage drop, this one also did outdid the Racer Star 11.6 volts, and the Racer Star was 10.4 volts. So this one is right under the safe zone, but it's totally fine. I mean, if you stick one of these on there, it, it, it's 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 better than the Racer Star Tattoo, that's for sure. Um, <clears throat> not by much, by a little. Uh, however, I think, you know, if you start having problems, just a 470 microfarad low ESR capacitor would clean up the whole system if you had problems. Um, but it's, you know, there, there's a chance of problems, but depending on your setup and your motors and everything, really. Um, so this one was, it's an overall good, I mean, $15 that is to be expected in that price range. So this is doing very well for the $15 price range, which is the mid-level, I would say. So this actually performs as expected. Uh, maybe I was expecting a little bit more since it had more tantalum capacitors. Maybe if they added like two more capacitors here, it would have just uh, been amazing. However, this has a heatsink, so that can increase life durability of the ESC compared to the Racer Star. So um, this is this. I think this is a good buy. It, it's it's a winner. It's it's not the top winner, but it's a winner in my book. Uh, if I got stuck with these, I would use them. I don't have a problem with these. Uh, they're not bad at all. So these are good. Um, these these are not bad at all. And if anyone's ever used them, please let me know down in the comment section. Tell me how your experience is with them. They seem good. They seem pretty well made I mean they, 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 it's, it just looks very well made you even have some protection here um, yeah I think this is a very good one very good one so 
that's really going to conclude it for this video guys if you guys have any questions or any suggestions feel free to let me know and i hope i helped you guys or helped someone out there and that's going to conclude it for this video guys so i will see you next time see you guys